Hi, um, I'm Mark Wielert and this isn't Frank Eichler, sorry, uh, he couldn't be there, um, uh, but well, I, I will try. It's a bit of a pity because Frank actually <laughs> did all the work, uh, so uh, that's not completely true. Frank uh, did uh, 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 most of the, the server work and the client work was done by uh, Aaron, Aaron Mary. Uh, who is also not here, but well. So, if the presentation is lame, that's uh, on me. <laughs> the code is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, um, uh, we all three work for uh, Red Hat, uh, but uh, the goal was very ex uh, explicitly not to make something just for uh, RHEL or Fedora. So. Um, Okay, so the summary is uh, we have a, a debug info, D daemon. Uh, we realized too late it should have been dwarfed, dwarf daemon, of course, but well, now we're stuck with the name. Um, and it's essentially just a file server for debugging artifacts. Uh, 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 why would you uh, need debugging artifacts? Because maybe you have bugs in your code. Some people do <laughs> create lots of bugs in their code. Um, so um, that's not a problem. You de uh, debug your program. Uh, you install all your debugging stuff. Uh, you use a, a, a debugger, uh, not going to talk about that, uh, a, a debugger, yes, what is a debugger? A, a debugger is anything to introspect your program, basically. Uh, anything that uses this kind of debug info that we serve. Um, so, um, uh, uh, right. Uh, it is about native code. If you write in some scripting language, you're already happy because you always have your source code with you. Yay. Um, uh, it is relevant for Go or Rust. Uh, uh, there are some improvements that could be made there, but uh, they're not really relevant. It should kind of work out of the box for uh, Go or Rust too. Uh, and, uh, well, I, I will show a demo of some of the things that work with it. Um, so, um, uh, one, uh, 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 no, <laughs> so for, for, for the debugging info, uh, 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 basically compilers these days are pretty good. Uh, 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 always use minus G, uh, uh, and uh, you do use GC, uh, which has uh, for tracking assignments, which makes things really, really nice. Uh, and don't disable them. The kernel disables for uh, for tracking assignments, which makes debugging kernel code really annoying. Apparently, kernel hackers don't debug. Uh, it, uh, um, there was once a bug in GC that generated something bad, and since then, the kernel has disabled this. Don't do that! Just use a fixed compiler. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, there are various tools that com can compress your uh, debug info, which is kind of uh, useful because it's really big. Uh, show some examples of that. Uh, there, also, there are some subsets that you could use which are already useful, well, like, like Conrad showed, but uh, we want more. <laughs> That's basically it. And um, uh, uh, there's the source code, which is also pretty big and which is kind of interesting because you don't want the source code 
the pristine source code, but the source code that was actually used to build your program, which is sometimes different because your build might post uh, uh, pre-process uh, your sources or generate them on the fly. Uh, uh. So, um, um, uh, in general, you use minus G and you're happy, um, uh, except uh, 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 if you don't or if make uh, uh, strips it, uh, well, then we really can't help you. Um, uh, but you might be using someone else, uh, uh, their, uh, their builds or, well, distro packages, uh, uh, or uh, you, you, you might be debugging remotely or in a container or from outside the container. And uh, where are your, <laughs> where is your debug info? Um, so the, the, the idea is in, in all those depends, we, we want to provide you with one way of getting at your uh, debug info. Um, right, so <laughs> why <laughs> doesn't everybody ship <laughs> all their debug stuff? Because um, basically the debug info is uh, your reverse compiler uh, that goes from binary to source and describing that is, oh, uh, big. It's uh, what five till five, fifteen times the size of the ship that is executable. Um, uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, uh, especially if you would like to have it for a complete distro, it's really uh, big. So. No wonder that people try to move it away and it might be hard to get it. Um, so, um, m most uh, distributions at least provide you with some way to uh, find it. So, uh, Fedora does it pretty nicely, I think, but I work on Fedora, so <laughs> that's... Uh, um, uh, 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 as you can see, GDB says, uh, just says, well, just DNF debug info install uh, that package. Uh, and uh, it even gets all the dependencies. And uh, so uh, Finn might uh, rely on glibc. So it pull also pulls in the glibc uh, debug info. So that's, that's it just works, except you have to be root for it <laughs> to install it. Uh, uh, and it's pretty big, so you have to have the, uh, the this ways. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, well, um, for, uh, uh, for Ubuntu, I'm not that familiar with it, but that also makes it immediately harder for, my, for myself. Uh, 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 there is a, 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 a difference, difference between uh, debug sims and debug dDEPs. Uh, it seems uh, uh, both Debian and Ubuntu now produce debug uh, packages for everything, but uh, uh, basically you have the, the, the same uh, limitations. Uh, and then you have other distributions uh, uh, which don't create any debug information. So what do you do? Well, you rebuild your program with debug and you hope it's the same program that you debug then. Um, so the, the, the NixOS kind of has always has an interesting approach which is uh, a, a dwarf file system fuse uh, thing, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, 
uh, this is <coughs> kind of what we want, although we wanted something slightly simpler and something that uh, doesn't you, uh, that is easy to set up for both distributions and your local uh, uh, builds. Um, right. Uh, so uh, uh, it, it's pretty useless that you have to have privileges to install uh, debug info. Uh, uh, it would be nice if uh, there was a mechanism that combines the packages with your local builds, and maybe you have a, uh, a team that, uh, uh, that publishes some of the uh, code. Uh, uh, and we always want access to uh, the actual source code used. Um, so, uh, the debug info D is a, a simple HTTP web server. It uh, has three. It has two. It has three. <laughs> I missed one. Um, it, it, it has uh, 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 three GET requests. Uh, one for the executable. Uh, that, that, that seems weird that you might want the executable. But uh, you might be, uh, you might have gotten a, a core file uh, from somebody, and uh, 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 you you want to debug that. So you want to get the executable, you want to get uh, a debug uh, info, uh, and you want source code. Uh, and basically, that's the whole HTTP D server. Uh, they're all indexed by build ID. Um, uh, you can run it on any port, and uh, uh, the servers could, can federate to each other. Um, so the, the build ID is, is kind of the thing that ties it all together. Um, uh, a build ID, um, well, X string, uh, basically a, a, a has over uh, your whole executable. Uh, it's uh, unique in uh, the way that uh, uh, if you have a reproducible build, it generates the same, it should generate <laughs> the same uh, build ID. Uh, and uh, uh, you use it to uniquely <coughs> identify a build. Uh, uh, but you cannot use it for verification. Uh, it's, it's not a security uh, thing. Uh, and it's also if you, uh, the, the, um, uh, a build ID is generated by the linker for every loadable module, program, uh, library, kernel module, uh, kernel. Um, and what did I want to say? Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, 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 when you then split that loadable module like uh, in the main executable and the debug info, you copy over the build ID. Uh, that also makes it harder to verify because the build ID is uh, calculated over the whole, so you would have to merge them. Um, so um, the debug info D uh, is fairly, uh, fairly simple. Uh, the version that was released, you can point it at uh, 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 your build directory or at a uh, uh, collection of RPMs. Uh, uh, in current Git, uh, you can also point it at uh, a collection of uh, uh, dep files. Uh, uh, and uh, it, it uses libarchive, uh, so it can basically uh, uh, use any uh, archiving format that you uh, use. Um, uh, it it, it uh, creates a, a database, uh, and uh, from that, uh, it, it serves the files you want. Uh, 
the client is uh, even simpler. Uh, 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 if you have support uh, like a GDB, well, it's not integrated yet, but I will demo it anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, you just set an environment variable, I have all my debug stuff, my sources there, uh, fetch them, uh, and uh, we have a little example program, debug info defined, uh, give me the source, or debug info, uh, or executable for this hex code, and with the source, the source part. That's it. Uh, um, Oh, right. Let me just show it. Um, oh, right. I can't see anything on this screen. Sorry. Um, so, go away. So, um, yeah. I said unprivileged, but I'm using Docker files and uh, no, how, oh, really, it's me, okay, <laughs> uh, you script your whole demo and then you can't run the demo because you lost your password. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let, let's first show uh, so we don't have uh, yeah, we don't have any debug info installed. We do have a few tools debug info D installed. <laughs> um, well, just to show that I'm uh, that I'm not uh, lying. Yeah. So we start a server with, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, we start a server with lots of uh, verbosity, ah, come on, yeah, so uh, lots of verbosity, look in, uh, uh, create a database here, um, uh, uh, scan it every couple of seconds, uh, index all the RPMs and the files that you can find in this directory. And basically, it, it indexes them uh, and you're done. Uh, well, we don't really need that window anymore except to see uh, that it actually gets the files there. Uh, because this is all running locally, um, uh, 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 the demo is actually too smooth. <laughs> it just works and uh, uh, you should see it downloading, but it's immediately there. Um, so, um, uh, oh, I should have s shown you, okay. So in the demo directory, I put the, uh, I happen to put the debug info RPMs for uh, BAS and ELIPSI and well, everything I need for the demo. <laughs> uh, so um, the, the sub, ah, this window is too small. Support is built in in the LFUTILS tools, so even uh, uh, though we don't have uh, any debug info installed, it 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 gets them from uh, the client, and we we have a backtrace with uh, source files and uh, symbols. Um, nope. Uh, so this was for an RPM based thing. Uh, maybe we, we want to build something uh, locally. Uh, we make a, a, a binary uh, and uh, 
uh, we, we, we strip the thing that we are going to install. Um, so, um, uh, uh, in this scenario, you, 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 you have your build uh, directory, you, you uh, give your binaries stripped to your coworkers to run on a different machine, which we now create. Yes, so uh, we use Spotman and it, right. So on this machine, which we just created, there is the stripped binary. So we run DDB on it and ah, uh, there's nothing. This is uh, uh, frustrating. Uh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so now we do it again, but we uh, 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 we give it access to the debug info the server that we are running and uh, 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 so it, it uses okay it's it's cheating uh, it it actually uses the host network but well, it's as if it is on a different machine. Uh, uh, and uh, it actually finds the symbols. Uh, it, it, you should have seen it download, but it was so fast that it immediately guesses, gets them from the cache. And uh, if I do start, yay! I can debug my program. Um, and th th this would be the scenario where you have a team which uh, presents their their own uh, 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 built environment to uh, the server. Um, it 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 also works for a system tab. For example, uh, give me uh, all the. Oh, you can't see what it. Right, give me all the, the, the functions in glibc uh, that started via printf and it was too fast again. It, uh, actually, it, it got the glibc uh, debug files from the previous run because now they are in, in its guess. Okay, the demo actually worked. Um, was it too smooth? Probably it was. It yeah, it should have crashed. <laughs> and it, and it, and it, I should have made the network slower. Um, but what you can see actually, do I have it here? Uh, um, no, I don't have it. Oh, right. Uh, oh, I could do this, yeah. Uh, the server has ha, well, HTML page, or actually uh, these are statistics from uh, uh, um, uh, Prometheus. The anyway, pe people that do metrics like this style of presenting <laughs> statistics. Uh, well, you you can see, but the, the uh, the, the little file server, uh, HTTP server, uh, knows about a lot of file names in uh, 2,000, uh, uh, 2,400, two build IDs, and it, it actually worked, really. <laughs> okay, um, how do I get back to my presentation? Uh, Sorry. Uh, where's my where's my presentation? Sorry. Uh, oh wait. And now? 
Okay. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what 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 did we see? What does it do? Um, um, uh, you put all your your uh, your uh, debug info files in 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 directories. Uh, it uh, you tell uh, you can tell it to scan RPMs, depths, uh, 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 for, uh, your full build. What? Anything. Anything. Yeah. Well, the, 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 it 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 does need a bit a, a, a bit of information to cross-reference them, uh, especially for the yeah right. <laughs> For the the source files, that's not always easy. Sometimes uh, uh, on Fedora, source files are put in a separate package from the actual debug info. So that that is somewhat tricky. This so um, uh, uh, you 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 can basically let the 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 server running. It scans. Uh, what you have, if it is a build directory, it also will clean up what's not relevant anymore. Uh, if you put new RPMs there, it will index them. Um, and uh, uh, well, it's, it's it's basically a little SQL uh, SQLite database. Um, uh, and uh, um, uh, it 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 also supports uh, DWZ, uh, which which makes the indexing also a bit tricky because uh, uh, DWZ uh, compresses uh, uh, debug info by putting uh, common uh, uh, elements in a separate file, uh, but uh, uh, essentially a DWZ file is. Also, something with the build ID, and you can just request it. Um, I feel a question coming up there. <laughs> okay. Um, um, uh, it, 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 it's uh, um, uh, well, basically, SQLite is nice. That's. That's a message from this uh, <laughs> this slide. Um, <coughs> yeah, um, it. Oh right, yeah. So um, uh, it, it 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 indexes everything, and you can really nicely <laughs> parti uh, partition uh, uh, what you do because you can. Uh, make uh, uh, servers query other servers. Uh, the debug info the uh, server uh, uh, is also a client, so you can say if uh, uh, you don't have the build ID, uh, go <laughs> one server up, uh, and uh, you could do the same uh, inside your company or your your programming group where you. Have one server that uh, questions all the others. Um, yeah. So the the, uh, the 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 client caches everything, which also means the uh, the servers cache uh, everything. Uh, and uh, there is a uh, uh, the, and there is. A, Kind of a sample client in LFUtils, the debug info D client, uh, but it's not much work to create your own clients. Uh, the the sample client just uses libcurl uh, and has a uh, least recently used cache of files. Uh, well, basically, you 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 to to implement the client you. Have to be able to make HTTP requests, and that's it. Um, so, um, uh, oh, 
this was 10 minutes left. Thank you. Uh, this was actually the slide I was describing with the client, sorry. Uh, um, the, um, let me go back what I should have said uh, here. Now, this is good. I already said most of this, but uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the scanning do, uh, can take long, mostly because uh, the RPMs uh, are uh, 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 compressed. The decompressing uh, reading takes most of the time. Uh, the uh, database can become uh, a bit large. Uh, but that's mainly because uh, there are there is so much data, uh, especially if you uh, try to uh, uh, index all the RPMs in the Fedora Koji build system. That that is really big. Um, uh, uh, but in in these, it's a very parallel problem. You, you can just partition it. You can have multiple directories, multiple servers. You can even merge databases. Um, so l like I said, uh, um, uh, there is an implementation of the server uh, and uh, of the client in ElfUtils that was released in uh, last month, I believe. Uh, in 0178. Uh, uh, there is now support for uh, uh, depth files and for uh, more parallel parsing of uh, your directory trees in uh, the current Git directory. Uh, for the next release, uh, there's a prototype TDB client uh, on a branch. It works perfectly. Tom, are you going to review it? <laughs> yeah. Yay! Um, there, uh, there are several clients underway. I, I have a little list, uh, and there are already some public servers if you if you want to try it out. Right. So, this is actually already too old because this slide was made before the weekend. <laughs> uh, uh, but there's, uh, there are two experimental servers now, uh, one for uh, system tab uh, that Frank is running, uh, 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 and uh, one for uh, SUSE. Uh, uh, they are, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, Frank is trying to, to uh, get the most common binaries that you use with system that uh, uh, for all the different distros uh, there. Uh, the open source one tries to index all of the, the tumbleweed is the last one uh, for open source. They're both experimental, so if they don't work, sorry. Uh, but uh, uh, hope, uh, hopefully others. Uh, uh, do that. Uh, we, we had a talk with um, uh, Alex Larson, I believe, who does the flat packs, and he was also looking at um, making uh, 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 a server available that uh, uh, serves the, 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 the debug info for, for flat packs. Uh, and he actually wanted to write his own server, but the server is so simple that. You can also do that. Uh, so for the clients, uh, uh, so of course the ElfUtils tools use it by default. Uh, uh, SystemTab uses it uh, because uh, ElfUtils uh, provides it. Uh, Dwarfs the same thing. Uh, the uh, bin utils, some bin utils can use it. That's merged in Git. Uh, the DDB patch is proposed, and Tom is going to merge it. No, <laughs> but uh, uh, and there are some in progress. I believe Anno check was also recently done. Uh, 
try reloading that page. Um, there's also some help wanted, uh, and uh, we, we volunteered Aaron for <laughs> most of the work, but I'm sure he wants help. <laughs> um, yeah, so for the, uh, uh, the uh, client support would be nice, uh, either directly or using the Elf Utils uh, 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 simple client. Um, uh, 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 okay, I don't know what uh, that is. Uh, you should think about security for the server a bit more. Uh, <laughs> oops. Uh, uh, of course, the C debug info needs always to be improved, but that's, well, if you can help with that, that would be nice. Um, uh, if you could run a server for uh, your own stuff, uh, that would also be nice. Let us know, then we put you on the page and we get lots of people debugging your stuff because it's so easy. <laughs> uh, well, and, and, and we, we and, uh, I think we hit the right spot by making it file-based, built, uh, uh, built ID indexed, uh, 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 but uh, we might want to uh, see if we can improve the protocol either by making uh, things, uh, uh, making it smaller. For example, I just want the die tree for uh, this thing or just the file table so I don't have to have the whole uh, uh, debug file uh, and maybe the other way around for example if you try to uh, trace all the modules in the kernel <coughs> then uh, you currently have to fetch 2000 debug info files separately and maybe you can batch that but I think the, the, the current setup is so simple that uh, it's good that we started with this. Do I have time for questions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but there are no questions. <laughs> ah. What was wrong with the Nix approach? You mean? Uh, like the Nix so, the yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it, I, it, uh, well, there, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, it it is a much more complicated uh, client. It's a fused file system, which is nice, uh, uh, and. Uh, 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 I, I think what we have now is easier to set up and easier to federate. And I think that's something that uh, is uh, uh, good. Uh, you, you, I, I, I think you could maybe take that uh, fuse file system uh, uh, approach and build it on top of this. Yes, go ahead. Um, because potentially if that's the build directory, it's also the build host maybe, and yeah. it might be in some cases. Yeah, so, so the, uh, the, uh, uh, yes, it has to have access to your build directory, but you could maybe have your build directory mounted, yeah. Uh, but, but you're right, that, that is one of the things. That's also why we have separate uh, indexing of RPMs and whole file trees. Um, uh, you, 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 could, you could make it smaller. The, the interesting thing about uh, having it on the host is that you are sure to also have all the header files as installed on the host. Uh, so in a way you, you, you have to have it on the host to have the complete picture. 
Okay, I think I'll stop before being dragged off the stage.